Hi, this is Alfozia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is finite geometric series. In this video, we are going to learn the formula which will be used in finding the sum of the finite geometric series. Okay, let us start with the formula. When we sum a known number of terms in a geometric sequence, we get a finite geometric series, right? We generate a geometric sequence using the general formula. Tn equal to a times r raised to n minus 1, where n is nothing but the position of the sequence. And Tn is nothing but the nth term of the sequence. a is the first term and r denotes the constant ratio. So this is all about this formula. Now let us see the general formula for a finite geometric series. Here is the general formula for determining the sum of a geometric series. Sn is equal to a1 times 1 minus r raised to n divided by 1 minus r. Here you should also notice that r is not equal to 1. This formula is easier to use when r is less than 1. Okay. Let me give you an alternate formula which can be used when r is greater than 1. Here is the alternate formula. You can use this formula when you find r is greater than 1. Both the formulas are very similar, only the position is different. Okay. Now let us see how to apply these formulas and find the sum of finite geometric series. Okay. Let me take one example and explain you step by step. Here is an example. Summation k starts from 1 to 6, 32 times 1 over 2 which is raised to k minus 1. Okay, let us solve this. Let us find the sum of a geometric series step by step. As a first step, let us write down the first three terms of the series. Three terms means just plug in k equal to 1, 2 and 3 in this expression. So we will get when k equal to 1, okay, this expression is going to be t1. Replace k by 1, so we will get Exponent 1 minus 1 will turn into 0. Any number or term which is raised to 0 would be equal to 1. That is one of the law of indices. Am I right? So this term will turn into 1. 1 times 32 is equal to 32. Same way, let us try for k equal to 2 and 3. When k equal to 2, you will get 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 times 32 would be equal to 16. When you replace k by 3, you will get 1 over 2 the whole square. That would be 1 over 4. 32 divided by 4 would be 8. Now you can generate the series. 32 plus 16 plus 8 because this symbol is called the summation. Am I right? Hope you are clear with step 1. In the first step, we just wrote down the first three terms of the series. Now we are going to determine the values for A and R. A is nothing but the first term and R is the ratio. First term in this series is 32. And R is nothing but T2 over T1 or T3 over T2. T2 over T1 that is 16 over 32 will be 1 over 2. Same way T3 over T2. 8 over 16 will be equal to 1 over 2. You will get the same answer for R. So whatever number you are plugging in. Second number divided by first. Third divided by second. So you have to set up like this. So far we have found the values for A and R. Let us now use the general formula to find the sum of the series. We are going to plug in A and R here. Here is your formula. Just replace A by 32, R by 1 over 2. And N is nothing but the number of K values. In the equation K starts from 1 to 6. So there are 6 values. So replace N by 6. So we will get, hope you are clear till this step. First work out the exponent 1 over 2 raised to 6 that would be 1 over 64 and in the denominator 1 minus half that is going to be half that I mean 1 over 2 in the denominator after that perform fractional subtraction here and then we have to multiply and finally we will be doing fractional division because we have a fraction in the denominator now perform fractional subtraction now multiply this so you will get now we have fraction in the numerator and denominator. So just do fractional division. Keep the first fraction as it is. Put a multiplication symbol in between and then just flip the second fraction. So you will get and that's it for this problem. So our final solution is summation of k equal to 1 to 6 32 times 1 over 2 raised to k minus 1 is 63. Hope you are clear with this example. Okay. In this example we found Sn. 
let me take one example that will be uh, somewhat different from this one here is the next example in our previous problem we found the summation here summation value t1 and t4 are given we are supposed to determine the values for r and n okay let us see how to solve this example as a first step we are going to determine the values of a and r okay so we are given with t1 and t4 a is nothing but the first term am i right so t1 would be r a and let's find t4 we are given with t4 so using this we can find r t4 is nothing but a times r cube am i right we have the value for a and we have t4 value let's just plug in those values in this equation and solve for r dividing both the sides by negative 4 and taking cubic root we will get so our r value is negative 2 hope you are clear with these steps we are given with t1 and t4 also sn from these values we have got the value for a and r now the geometric series is going to be signs will alternately change it will start from 4 and fourth number is 32 so using this we have defined the geometric series please notice that the signs of the terms alternate because r is less than 0 okay please notice this point whenever you get r less than 0 negative 2 is less than 0 right so you should place alternate signs S signs should be alternate okay already we have got the value for a it starts with negative so negative positive positive negative positive okay now let's write the general term for the series our general term is tn equal to a times r raised to n minus 1 let us plug in a value and r value in this formula next step would be we have to use the general formula for the sum of geometric series so that we can determine the value for n here is the formula we are given some value for sn plug in that value plug in a and r value then we can solve for n in our question it is given that sn is equal to 84 therefore now simplify the denominator 1 plus 2 that would be 3 if you cross multiply you will get you can also take this number and then cross multiply so negative 4 over 3 multiply both these sides by 3 over 4 so we will get multiplying both these sides of the equation by negative 3 over 4 so we will get now we can just shift the places you can shift this number term to the left side of the equation and add 63 to the both these sides of the equation so we will get we are going to use some concept from law of indices when the bases are same we can equate the exponents hope you remember that formula so i'm going to use the same concept here i'm going to rewrite 64 in terms of negative 2 negative 2 raised to 6 that will give you 64 am i right so replace this so we will get now the bases of both the sides of the equations are same so you can equate the exponents so n is equal to 6 this is what the question asked we are supposed to find r value and n value we have got the r value negative 2 and n is 6 hope you are clear with this example you should also know this expansion t1 plus t2 t3 t4 plus tn minus 1 okay you have to be clear with the formulas these are the basics for finding the sum of geometric series in case if you get any query regarding this video kindly let me know in this video we have seen two different types of examples in case if you come to know or if you see any questions that is in a different format you can let me know in the comment section see in the next